Hey everyone, I'm Ben Dynas, Director of Product UX UI at Aperture, and I'm here at NAB 2025 at Apex, the Aperture Experience. Today I'm going to be showing off the new features of Citus Link Pro version 2.0. To start with, the biggest new change is a feature called Auto Patching. Auto Patching is the ability to automatically add the light to Citus Link Pro, selecting the correct manufacturer, model, and profile, along with the DMX address, all automatically, and auto configuration. That's the ability to send all that information directly to the light so you don't have to manually type it in. So to start, we are going to do it the old way. We're gonna do it manually. So I have here Citus Link Pro, and I'm going to add four of my MC Pros to this. So to start with, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna to go to add new fixtures, add the MX controlled fixtures, and now I'm gonna select the profile that I wanna use, and that profile is HSIC Plus 16-bit. I'm gonna to go to next, and then in this existing show file, I'm gonna see my patch list, and I'm gonna try and find space to put these four lights. I can see that it's gonna patch in one light, but like I said, I'm gonna do four. So I'm gonna increment that to four, and we still can fit it in the universe. Everything's great there. And now I've added all four of my lights to the app, but that's just half of the process. The next process is on all four lights, I need to enter in that information as well. So let me go to my first light here. So here, I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, going to uh, reset it to default because that's always a good practice. And now I'm going to set my DMX address and I'm gonna look in here to see what the DMX address should be. At a fixture, uh, the first light's gonna be at channel 418. Oh, I do need to enable my CRMX. So let me turn that on. So CRMX is enabled and it is trying to link to a previous transmitter. So I'm going to unlink it so that it is ready for pairing. So I've configured one of my lights. Now I'm gonna go to my next light. So you get the point. You can imagine this will take much longer for the two lights that I have here, let alone an eight light kit. And I still need to link them with my CRMX transmitter, which on the device I would go up to and I would press link. All the lights would flash to do that pairing manually. So let's talk about auto patching and auto configuration. Auto patching is the process of automatically adding all your light fixtures into Citus Link Pro, and auto configuration is the process of automatically configuring the light for DMX control. So now let me show you the new way. So with all four of these lights, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset Citus Bluetooth. And in order to do that, we have a fancy button shortcut that will allow me to do that. And that is I'm going to press and hold. Let's just do three right now. I'm gonna press and hold these red dials and this will reset its Citus Bluetooth on the fixture. All right, now within the app, I am going to add new fixtures and I'm gonna select auto patching and auto configuration, this first choice here. So what this will do first is it will find all of the lights that are available for this. I'm gonna select my four MC Pros, press next. This step is where it's going to add all four MC Pros to the Citus Link Bluetooth mesh network. Once it is added there, after I configure it, it will automatically send it through the Citus Bluetooth mesh. This is probably the longest part of the process where it's just gonna communicate with all four lights. There we go, we've set up all four lights. On this screen, we're gonna select the fixtures. These are the four fixtures that I want. I can also press identify if I want to identify them to flash. And then I'm gonna press next. Here I can see all of the settings that I have for my lights. I can set everything from the dimmer curve, the fan mode, if it has a fan, studio mode, DMX smoothing, I can set that all from here. But all of those settings are already set up for you. Really, what you need to do is just press next. On this screen where you're gonna assign your universe, you can do one of two things. You can drag your lights onto the correct universe, or you can simply press auto assign. When you press auto assign, the app will find available DMX channels to patch your lights into. They will also turn the color that you have set in your universe ID. So if I want my universe ID to be, let's say magenta, if I'm trying to separate out my lights, then all four lights would change to magenta. If I wanted to take these lights and I wanted to spread them over different universes, I could do that as well. Just drag and drop. And as I drag and drop it, if I want two on universe one and I wanted two on universe three, and then it will auto identify itself. So in this configuration, I'm gonna set these two lights up on universe one and these two lights up on universe three. 
and then I'm gonna press next. So this is our final step of the process. This is where I can drill down individually to change the profile or the DMX address, but I'm gonna press process. Now what's gonna happen, it's first going to add all the lights to Citus Link Pro in the correct DMX address and correct profile, and then it will send the configuration to each light. Then it will send the configuration over your Citus Bluetooth mesh network to the lights. And last, it will actually trigger the transmitter to send the link command so you can link your lights over CRMX. As you can see, I've got check marks all across. It says they've all reached 100% and all my lights turn green. They are now ready for control with Citus Link Pro. Next up, we have real-time feedback for your Citus 4. What this means is anytime that you have a status alert here, an error, a battery message that would get displayed directly on your Citus 4, Citus Link Pro will also display that. I can open up my Citus Link Pro connection management and I can see all of the settings and configurations of my Citus 4. For instance, if I turn on the fourth DMX universe, uh, which is port D, it's not getting any data. I can see that because the screen is red. So inside of Citus Link Pro, I can see the same error. Now imagine if this is rigged up you know, at a body height so that it's not shooting through masses with its CRMX. I want to know what this error is. I can see it right from the tablet. That's the important thing. The next big important one is, let's say my Citus 4 has a kick out. Then Citus Link Pro will immediately tell you that you're now on a battery backup. This also tells you, hey, you've lost power because when you're using your Citus 4, that's going to be really important information. Why aren't my lights working properly? Oh, my Citus 4 died an hour ago. Yeah, that's not gonna be a good time, right? So I plug it back in, all is good there. I hit okay here. That's the real-time feedback that we have directly from the Citus 4. I can also send my linking commands directly to this remotely. So I have remote configuration, real-time feedback where the Citus 4 is also talking to Citus Link Pro. So the last main new feature of Citus Link Pro 2.0 is pixel control. This is the ability to select individual light engines through pixel control to set the values of your pixels. You could set hue, intensity, saturation, color temperature, whatever controls you're normally using to control your lights. So let's go over to this Infinimat 8x8 and we'll get going. So the 8x8 here is 16 individual light engines of control. Now on my stage, I now have this little button right here that says pixel. With that button, I could then change my pixels to be different values. So for instance, if I was gonna create a bluff bounce, I can make the sky to be blue, I can make my sand to be an orange. Uh, let's, just, let's just keep it simple like that. With pixel control, I could get more nuanced lighting effects to allow more control. And that's really what we're after. We want it to be fast and efficient and using Citus Link Pro. So let's come back on over here. There's a few other features that we have coming out with this as well, which is everything you liked from Citus Link for iPad is now here. That is our Diagram Master, it is Illumination Handbook, Magic Infinity Effects, Magic uh, Program. So everything that we had from Citus Link for iPad is now in Citus Link Pro version 2.0. That's what we got for you in the new update. Happy queuing.